Hello, this is Pastor Everett from Liberty Christian Center, taught Mass, and I'm going to bring, I want to bring you a couple of scriptures today, uh, dealing, because of everything that's going on today, I think prayer is one of the most important things we can do, and uh, Jesus said in Matthew 18, he says, Assuredly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am in the midst. So Jesus said these words, and uh, if you have a red letter of edition Bible, the red letter of edition is the actual words of Jesus. And uh, you, can't, you can't go wrong with the words of Jesus. If the believer, this is talking about, if the believer prays the word of God, I believe that the answer will be honored and ratified in heaven by Almighty God. Any prayer is conditional on being in the will of God. Okay? Uh, it is God's will to save our souls, heal our bodies, of, from sickness and disease, and deliver from all bondages. The requirement is to meet in His name, even two or three people in the eyes of God constitutes a church. With everything that's going on today, I want to pray with you in agreement for God to heal your bodies and our land. Anyone who is watching right now, if you would touch the computer screen, or if you can't touch the computer screen, just lay your hand towards the computer screen. If I cannot, if, if you can't do that. So I just want to pray, I want to pray for the people that have the coronavirus. That's the big thing, okay? Father, I ask you to bless the airwaves of the internet right now, Lord. I bind that spirit of fear that has been brought about by the devil during this pandemic. I speak the spirit of peace that passes all understanding into our lives right now in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit of infirmity and command that spirit to leave those bodies right now and never return in the name of Jesus. Now, infirmity, that... that that goes for all diseases, okay? I bind all sickness and disease and the powers of darkness that might be coming against anyone that is praying with me right now. I command the seed, cell, and root of the coronavirus to shrivel up and die right now in the name of Jesus. I speak a new blessed new blessed systems from the throne room of heaven and new immune systems in Jesus' name. I ask you to heal, heal or replace people's lungs that have been touched by the virus in the name of Jesus. I ask that you stop any coughing in the name of Jesus. I know these people have bad coughs, people with the virus. Stop it in the name of Jesus. I ask that the, you pour the oil of the Holy Spirit down their throat and just <laughs> soothe that throat in the name of Jesus. I ask you to heal every organ of the body from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now I would like to pray. I would like to pray for the people who have never asked Jesus, the King of kings and Lord of lords, to come, in, to come into their heart and forgive their sins. Do you know that Jesus has a phone number in the Bible? You didn't know that, but I'm going to read it to you. It's in Jeremiah 33.3. He, Jesus says, call on me and I will answer you. That sounds like a phone call to me. And I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know. I think today is the time to call on Jesus because he will answer you. That's the thing about God. You pray, he'll answer. He'll answer. Okay. If you can repeat this prayer, this is for the people that have never... Never had asked Jesus to come into the heart. Jesus is the God. He is Almighty God. He was not only your Creator, but He is your healer. He is your salvation. Everything. If you just repeat these words after me, 
You just have to mean them in your heart. It isn't these words that saved your soul. It's your attitude, your, your heart attitude. Say, Heavenly Father, don't be afraid. Say, Heavenly Father, I need you in my life, and I am sorry for my sins. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I believe that you raised him from the dead on the third day so I might have eternal life with him in heaven. There's this spot. Ever, forever and ever. I ask you right now to forgive my sins and come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. I think I thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Now I'd like to pray for the state of Massachusetts and the world. I ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would put a wall of fire around the state of Massachusetts, around the borders of the United States, and every single country in the world. I bind this coronavirus and I command it to leave and die in the name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth. I ask, Father, that you would just bring, bring this, the world back to employment, Lord, that you would get rid of this in the name of Jesus. And we know that you are bringing your people back to church. They're not here right now, but you're bringing people back to church. And I know there's a revival in the wind. And revival means people that have walked away from God are going to be coming back. And Lord, I just ask you to do a mighty work, not only in this state, the city of Taunton, the state of Massachusetts, the United States of America, but every country in the world. And we thank you, Lord, that you are going to minister to each and every person, especially the people that are seeking you right now, seeking your deliverance, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.